In this video, we will be going over the following problem. In this square, there are four congruent rectangles. What fraction of the square does the shaded area cover? Now, since we're just working with fractions and ratios, we can really set the dimensions of this figure to be whatever we want, as long as we stay consistent. So let's go ahead and say that the width of each of these rectangles is one, because one is an easy number to work with. And if this is the case, the side length for the entire square must be 3. Now here comes the really key observation we have to make to solve this problem. If we call the area of these two identical right triangles A, the area of these two identical right triangles B, and the area of the shape in the center C, then notice that C plus 2A must equal C plus 2B. And this is because the rectangle in the middle and the slanted rectangle are congruent, and so their areas must be the same. Now if we simplify this a little bit, we can cancel out the c's, and we get that 2a is equal to 2b. And so a equals b. And so in the context for a figure, this means that the area of this triangle and the area of this triangle and all other such pairs are equal. And so if we call the hypotenuse of the triangle with area B x, then we can apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle to find the length of the remaining side. And we can do this because these are 90 degree angles. And so if the hypotenuse is of length x and this leg is of length 1, then the remaining leg in this triangle must be of length root x squared minus 1. Now since we've called this length x, we know that the length of this leg in this triangle must be 3 minus x. We also know that the length of this leg is 1, since it's the width of one of the rectangles. And so now we can express the area of both of these triangles in terms of one variable, which is x. a, which is the area of this triangle, is 1 times 3 minus x over 2. And b, which is the area of this triangle, is 1 times the square root of x squared minus 1 over 2. Now the coefficients of 1 half cancel, and we're left with 3 minus x is equal to the square root of x squared minus 1. And so if we square both sides, on the left side we get 9 minus 6x plus x squared, and on the right side we get x squared minus 1. The x squared terms cancel, and so we're left with, we get, and so we get 9 minus 6x is equal to negative 1, which gives us 10 is equal to 6x, and if we divide by 2 on both sides, we get that x is equal to 5 thirds. And so if x is 5 over 3, then this side's length is 3 minus 5 over 3, which is 9 over 3 minus 5 over 3, which is 4 thirds. And so the area of just one of these triangles is 1 times 4 thirds over 2, which is 2 thirds which simplifies to 2 thirds. And so now, to find what fraction of the square the shaded area covers, we know that the entire square has an area of 3 times 3, or 9, and that the shaded region's area is 9 minus the area of these two identical triangles, each of which have an area of 2 thirds. And so we're left with 9 minus 4 thirds, over 9. And so if we simplify this further by dividing each of the terms in the numerator by 9, we get 1 minus 4 over 27, which is 23 over 27. And so the fraction of the square that the shaded area covers is 23 over 27. And that's all there is to this problem.